Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing readings for November 2023. We are using the Wisdom of the Oracle Divination cards, and we are using the Elder Futhark on Maple Runes. So let's get started with a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle Divination cards. And we have Regeneration. So this is going to be a very important month for you, um, Virgo. No matter what you're doing, there is going to be an element of it where you are going to be um, working on your regeneration. You're going to be basically renewing yourself. You're going to be replenishing and renewing and sort of like re-becoming, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I keep thinking of Doctor Who, but it's not going to be like that for you, I don't think, unless you are a Time Lord, in which case, good luck. <laughs> I'm going to put down some runes to get some clarity on that. Is that the one that wants to come? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, so beautiful. Perfect. Doopy doo. Yeah, and there's a good reason for the, <laughs> for the regeneration, and uh, you've worked hard on getting to this point. Um, I can see. Wait, what's what's the one that wants to? Is that one, that one? Is that the one that wants to come? Yes, I think it is. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So your central issue this month, Virgo, is Dagaz. Dagaz is the breaking of the day. This has to do with illuminations, revelations. This is basically the dawn, um, something that's breaking through and just the light is coming in and filling your entire field of vision and everything is going to get lit up and illuminated, um, which fits very nicely with the regeneration. Is thing. You're basically just re-blooming, <laughs> re-becoming. Uh, it's a new day for you. Leading up to this, we have Tivaz Reverse. Tivaz is the rune of Tyr, the warrior god, and the thing about him is he also has to do with duties and responsibilities, and often I read um, Tivaz Reverse as tending to your personal, your duties and responsibilities to yourself, but I am actually seeing this as more, in, in terms of this, as something where you have been feeling sort of beat down, you've been feeling a bit um, disarmed, you've been feeling like it's been difficult to lift your sword and to take on your quests in, in the world. So you've been working on yourself, you've been basically turning your attention to taking care of your duties and responsibilities that you have to yourself to get yourself feeling more yourself and also to maybe to replenish yourself which is what this is about and it looks like this month is the culmination of that basically you've been working on it and now here you are you're basically bursting forth into the world this is a new day for you it's just exciting daga's breaking of the day for you this month what is going to help you is let your spirit carry you. We have uh, Avaz, which is the rune of the horse, and this has to do with movement and also spirit. So I am going to read this a couple ways. Yes, let your spirit carry you, but also keep moving forward. Um, you you have the energy now. You can see ahead of you now. Let you know. Just let yourself. Just keep keep moving forward. Don't don't stop moving. Just definitely just keep. Just have you have the energy and you have the light and now you can just move forward. But definitely also just let your spirit carry you forward because that's going to help you. That's going to lead you to the right path on your regeneration path. And as you move forward, it's going to keep you in harmony with that. It's going to keep you resonating in a good way with what you've been building up so far. What isn't going to help is we have the blank runes, so I'm going to read this as fears about the unknown, what you know, what you don't know you don't know, things that might be out there that you didn't expect and don't really feel like will be harmonic to what you've been building. But really that's mostly just a fear. I'm seeing this as <clears throat> as long as you're just following spirit, you know, as long as you're letting spirit carry you and as long as you keep moving forward. Um, riding on the new burst of light and energy that's coming through because you've done all this work on yourself, um, that's going to help you the most moving forward into this month with your new you, basically, where you, where you feel renewed and refreshed and, and regenerated. What this is going to lead you to by the end of the month, you're going to feel like... The journey that you were on has sort of closed, and I think this is this is the journey that it's talking about. This whole thing about where you were deeply, deeply focusing about, you know, basically replenishing yourself and taking care of yourself and making sure that you were. Because I think maybe before this, I, I I'm, I'm not going to throw down. I could throw down another rune. What happened before this? <laughs> yeah, so you were really, really, really like actively, you know making things happen but then you needed to recharge you needed to replenish 
so you've done this and now you're coming forth with all your energy so that whole thing is going to be like okay i've done it now i can start my actual journey that my my new journey that i wanted to do when i started doing this i can resume that journey this also speaks sorry it's right though it's the journey rune <laughs> um it also speaks oh there's also another read on this um it speaks of an inner journey, but I'm also bringing in the younger Futhark um, read on, and actually the, the Anglo-Saxon Futhark read on Rytha, which is basically the riding is comfortable for the rider, but toil for the horse. You're giving your horse a break. <laughs> of course, here's the horse here. So it's, it's you're not going to give like spirit a break, but I think what was, what you were driving yourself with like the part of you that you were driving onward and onward i think you're going to give that a break going forward because that really exhausted you um, so there's that element of it but it's also turning a journey inward you're also turning your journey inward so you will continually have access to this energy um, that you feel now you're sort of like making sure that you're plugged in to that which is very important but yeah mostly I'm seeing like this this frantic sort of it's not frantic but just this this emergency sort of like okay my sword is on the ground I can't lift it right now I need to take care of things I need to make sure that I'm replenishing myself you're able to burst forth this month and just be um, a, a source of light. And uh, as long as you're letting your spirit carry you forward and watching for that and just keep moving forward, um, you're going to be able to put to rest the need to, to drop everything and do that again because you're going to be plugged into your source energy. Well, implied source energy. So Vilo's not in this spread, but anyway, there we go. So that, Virgo, is your reading for November 2023. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.